The body has so much wisdom. Today we're gonna to do a meditation where we use the body systems to understand the challenges and the stresses that are happening in our lives and then allow us to make a decision or take action or decide to just release the issue completely. I want you to come into a comfortable seat and pose. You can sit on a couch or on a chair or on the floor. I'm sitting on a blanket that's folded up. Make sure you're in a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. You can put your hands on your knees or wherever feels comfortable. We're gonna take three physiological sighs. Inhale through the nose. Top it off. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> One more. We're going to select one challenge, something that's bothering you, maybe keeping you up at night. Select one thing to focus on right now. And as you focus on that one item, I want you to notice how it impacts your body. Do you have any emotions that are coming up around that item? Breathe into the sensations in your body. If it helps, you to focus, you can close your eyes or leave them gently open, looking down. Hmm. So we're just breathing into the sensation in our body that we think, that we feel when we think about this concern, this worry, this challenge that's facing our lives. Emotions have lots of wisdom in them, so just feeling that emotion. And then we're going to notice the thoughts that pop up around this item. Listen to your thoughts, don't get carried away with them, just watch the thoughts as they come by, continuing to focus on this one challenge. Notice the trend of the thoughts. Are they all in one category or is there a lot of different categories coming up? Notice the speed at which the thoughts are coming at you. And now we're gonna do a chakra meditation upon this concern that you have. We're going to start with the root chakra, which starts at the base of the feet up to the middle of the pelvis. So you can either keep your hands here on your legs to help you focus. You can look down or just close your eyes and visualize your legs. We're going to notice the root chakra. The root chakra is all about safety. And as you focus in on the root chakra, Ask yourself this inquiry question. Does this worry or concern impact my direct immediate safety? And breathe into that inquiry in the root chakra. Does it impact your family's immediate safety? And if it comes up for you, oh, it doesn't impact it right now, but eventually, 
Just note that. Note that awareness, that real revelation as you breathe into the root chakra with this question. So note whatever you learned from the inquiry into the root chakra around safety. The root chakra is all about keeping us immediately safe and secure. So now let's move up. You can even put your hands here on the sacral. You can put a hand in the back and the front. Sacral's halfway between the pubic bone and the belly button. It's our area of creativity, of uniqueness. So as we put our hands in the sacral area, ask yourself, does this challenge, concern, worry, stop me, impact me, or my family from being our unique creative beings that we are? Manifesting that create creativeness or stopping us from being creative in some way? Does it prevent us from being unique? Does it prevent others from knowing our uniqueness? So that's the exploration in the sacral chakra, breathing in that area. And one more breath here. We're gonna now move our hands or our visual attention in up into the solar plexus. Solar plexus is right below the ribs. Breathing deeply into the hands. Ask yourself, does this concern, worry, challenge stop me or my family from being powerful? Does it limit my power? Does it make me hopeless and powerless? You can reframe the question in whatever way really resonates with you here. One more breath. We're gonna bring our hands and our mental attention up to the heart chakra, the center of the chest. And now we're gonna inquiry here. Does this concern, worry, challenge stop me or my family from loving those we love the most? Is it stopping us from connecting with our community, from serving our community? Our heart chakra goes down through the fingers, through the arms. Is there something stopping you from serving your community? Whether it's a lack of tools or resources or physical ailment. Inquiry here in the heart chakra. Is this stopping you from loving? serving. We're going to move up into the throat chakra. You can bring your hand or both hands up 
gently to touch your throat. Does this worry or concern stop you from speaking your unique insights, your wisdom, your beliefs, your thoughts? Are you somehow being muzzled, thwarted, muted, stifled, censored? Are you not speaking because you're scared that your family will reject you? So breathe into this area and feel, is this challenging your ability to speak your voice, your words? One more breath. We're going to take our hands up to the forehead. You could have just one finger or both hands, whatever feels more comfortable. Visualize right here the middle of the forehead between the brows and up a little bit. Our third eye, the subtle mind. This is our central place of wisdom, intuition. It is connected to our ears, our eyes. We're processing data from our body and from the environment around us, bringing it in, processing and creating wisdom and insight, knowledge, actionable knowledge. So bring your mind's eye here, focus and ask yourself, does this challenge, concern, worry, challenge my ability to gather data clearly, be able to recognize and process the data and make actionable insights? Is data being hidden from me? All right, bring our hand up to our, bringing our hand or both hands up to the third eye. So the third eye is in between the eyebrows, up about an inch or so to the forehead. And the third eye or our subtle mind is connected to the eyes and to the ears. It is our way of taking data from internally from the body and also externally from the world through our senses, bringing it in, being able to store process and turn those insights into actions. Is this challenge or worry impacting your ability to get data, good raw data, reliable data, data with integrity? Is it blocking your ability to store and process this data? So breathe into the third eye and ask yourself this question. All right, one more breath into the third eye. And then we're gonna take our hands, either one or both, to the crown. Visualize the crown, the top of the head. This is where our connection to the universe, the divine, is. So ask yourself, breathing into this area, does this challenge, worry, concern, stop me from connecting with the divine? 
whatever that means to you. One more breath here. <sighs> Letting your hand rest. And now just go ahead and integrate all this wisdom that you've gone through in the body. Have you made any revelations? Is there anything popping out as actions that you can take based on this? If you have extra time, you can lie down and rest. <sighs> Make some journal entries around what you've discovered today. We'll finish with an om. Bring the hands together. Inhale. Om. So let's go ahead and check in with the aftermath of our practice today. Noticing your emotional state. Breathe into any emotions that are popping up as the aftermath. Notice if you have any change or shift in your emotions since the beginning of practice. And let's turn our attention to the mental state. Notice that the thoughts have changed their speed or their categories. And then we'll close with an om. Bring the hands over the heart center. Inhale. Om. And may the benefits of this practice benefit you and everyone you meet. Namaste. So I highly recommend you take a few moments to journal, to reflect upon what you've just learned. If you have time, you can do a little shavasana and lie down. If you think this practice was useful, come back to it as many times as you want to. Also, you may go through each of the different issues that you're dealing with one at a time and just try to understand what's going on. And if you liked it, maybe one of your friends will. You can share this video with your friends. And if you like this and think you might like more content from me, please click subscribe. Thank you so much. I'm Bette Bolhoffer. Namaste.